What assets can I buy to make money? I'm going to talk to you exactly about that. If you have a little bit of money or you have a lot of money, but how do your investments actually create cash flow? So in the title, I said, how do you make money with them? It's really going to create cash flow, passive income. I'm going to share with you several ways to do that. So get a pen and paper. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the best ways to invest right now and those that you can put away a little bit of money or a lot of money and how do you make some cash flow with it. I'm also going to share at the end some amazing strategies on how to use your Roth to invest. And if you don't have one, you better race out and go get one. I'll give you a link to go get one free. So the three things I'm going to talk about specifically are the top ways to invest and what really should you be investing in today. Why the stock market still and always will be a great place to put money. Now, if you read my early books, I was completely against stock market. That's before I had this software I'm going to share with you. And then number three is my number one pick. What's well, my go-to all the time when I am investing. So again, let's get a pen and paper. What are some ways to invest? Well, you got some new kids on the block. They're called digital currency and NFTs. And with a very small amount of money, you can start investing. I mean, my son started just doing some basic digital currency trading at $50, $100. I mean, I know people who've even started at $20, $25. Little light, especially for those of you, if that's all you have, mm, I'd probably keep it, uh, put it into a money market account or put it in an iFlip account. So obviously start some digital currency investing and some NFT investing. Number two, I want you to get a business. You have to have a business to play the strategies and to live life in the strategy of corporate life. You've got to have an entity, an LLC, an S Corp, a C Corp. What are you going to do in it? Provide a product and service. And I'm a huge bootstrapper. You can make a lot of money. I bootstrapped companies that have gone as high as eight figures and I started by selling my time. And some of you say, oh my gosh, it's a horrible way to start. You know, it wasn't the only thing we did, right? But it is a way that all of you, you have expertise, you have brilliance, you can start right now. Direct sales companies are amazing. They're beating inflation right now. They're price fixed. They can't be inflationary uh, in those moments. So that's a great place to be. So cryptocurrency and NFTs is number one because you can get in for so little money, but you can start a company with nothing. As we move through the, our conversation, I'll tell you how to get some OPM, other people's money and other people's credit and other people's IRA. For those of you who really want capital to grow a business, I'm going to tell you from the front side of this though, if you've never run a company, why would someone give you their good money as an investor to you who is clueless and you've never really run a company for cash flow? So if you're just doing this because you need a lifestyle, you need to bootstrap it. So invest in a business as a, as a secondary option. Number three, real estate. I'm a huge fan. I'm a millionaire in real estate and gas and oil. Gas and oil prices are really high right now. I can tell you it's really interesting to have to pay a lot at the pump, but the amount of cash flow I'm getting on the backside of actually owning oil wells, it's phenomenal right now. So real estate is phenomenal. I mean, you have to get in somehow. So for a lot of you, if you have a small amount of money, Say you only have 5,000 and you have five friends and you need a minimum pay down payment of 25 grand. You can have an LLC, five of you get together, you all put in $5,000. I put in a little more than that because you have to start corporate structure, pay tax, you're gonna have things to, to do inside that company. But that's a way you can collaborate to get into a first deal together. Some of the highest cash flows right now are storage units, RV parks. We're building RV parks in the Boise market right now. Uh, right on the river, we're going to be getting between 500 and 800 a month just for the spot. And we have 55 spots being built up there. The other one, though, is short-term rentals and Airbnbs. So I have clients right now with Airbnbs just with one property. And they've parceled out their house. They've made it, you know, where more and more people can stay. And they're doing over $100,000 a year in cash flow. That is far superior to them just renting the house to one family in a long-term rent situation. So collaborate. Uh, every one of my books talks about what I call field partners. Somebody who's in the field that knows what they're doing and actually runs the project should be your partner. Not just blindly going into a market and investing and then hiring a property management company you have no legal relationship to. You're just going to reduce your cash flows doing it that way. Every place that I am invested, every market, the person who's on the ground is what I call my field partner. They do the work. I bring the money. So those relationships were in a partnership where we're hooked together for our financial performance. Real estate's a huge one that I need you to go look at. Private lending. Those of you who do have some money, 50, 100, 120, 150 million dollars, 
be a hard money lender. I've been a hard money lender for decades. So what does that mean? Someone comes with a great project, they wanna borrow money. My minimum would be 12%. And at the height, I've, I've borrowed out as for as much as uh, 18%. So I love being the bank. I take first position. You can do the same thing. Your IRAs can do the same thing. And remember, at the end, I'm gonna tell you why your Roth is so pivotal to all of this. So we've talked about uh, some digital currency, NFTs, uh, buy a business, get into real estate, be a private lender. So the fifth one I wanna talk about is crowdfunding. So crowdfunding comes in two different forms. It's either gifting, where you can just do the GoFundMes and some of those and the Kickstarters where you're actually just donating. Not a fan at all. In fact, I've been keynotes against those. It's just an interesting charity. Like if you can put money to work and you want cash flow, you're not getting it by doing a GoFundMe or Kickstarter for the donation side. You're getting it on the equity side. There are some amazing crowdfunding. They're really on a reggae offering where you can go buy real estate if you have a little smaller amounts of money and you don't want the hassle of having to find a market, find the property manager and do all the work. So crowdfunding, if it's an equity position where you're actually investing and getting some shares is an okay way to get started for those of you who have smaller amounts of money. Now the stock market. It's an interesting one. Uh, it's an emotional arbitrage. It's a run up and run down at everyone's command except for yours and you're at the effect of it. So one of our clients, and I'm an investor in it, is called iFlip. So what iFlip is, iFlip is a software. It's an algorithmic software that is designed where you're in smart folios. And so you can pick from uh, gas and oil, from tech, you can now do cryptocurrency folios. And the benefit is that the algorithms take you out of the market if it gets too volatile. So in March 2020, when the market crashed to below, what, 1929 rates, I only lost about 2.8% having the software help manage it versus being wide open with a financial planner who you're gonna pay fees, huge fees and commissions to to get back in the market. And their conversation whether you will be, well, you're sustained for the long haul. Well, why'd you lose me 30%? So I could get back in because I got out at 2.8 and get back in and go again very quickly. And I didn't have to make up the losses that majority of the market lost 33%. So in the link below is a free app to just go check out iFlip. If you like it and you put more money in, there's actually a software you can buy for larger amounts of money, but it is free to get started. We encourage a lot of our younger folks to get started that way in investing in the stock market. Now, before I go to my number one pick in a Roth IRA, because my number one pick is a Roth IRA and things inside of it, uh, I want you to subscribe to my channel. So click on the link below, hit the notifications. I'm here five days a week to train you in financial literacy. I have all sorts of topics. If uh, there's a day that you wanted to not hear about the topic that I'm talking about, go to the search bar up above, put in what you want. And uh, I'm sure I have a video. We have hundreds of videos at this point on this channel. If it, they're not there, then you go to the comments and you put in what you want me to record about and we'll be right back out here five days a week. So make sure you subscribe and share this with your friends and family. It starts the conversation about money in your household and it's so pivotal. Schools are never gonna do what we're teaching and what I'm teaching you. So my number one thing is real estate. I will always be in real estate. Um, I've gone from owning in 29 markets to multiple continents. Uh, when COVID hit, sold it all in lesser markets, but I'm still at Airbnb in the Ozarks great market, right? The, the We call it the Redneck Riviera, uh, but people go there in droves. And in there, we have a boating company. We have, we rent jet skis to our clients and we make a ton of cash flow. So how do you invest to make money? Some of it's for cash flow. Uh, RV parks, I'm making money on cash flow right there. But I also bought some really cheap land. I got a lot of land and as it's appreciating and I'm just selling off the lots, that's making chunks of money. It's not cash flow. I wouldn't count that as cash flow. For a lot of you, as you think about what you need, if you don't have a big enough business that's producing cash flow, then you need cash flow in your investing portfolio. Otherwise, Use cash flow in your business and park for large appreciations. I just invested in a kid's bank. I've got all sorts of stuff that will pay out in three to five years, not paying out today. So here's what I want you to do right now. I want to get to know you. I want you to go take my financial personality quiz. It's going to put you into one of four profiles. And then from there, we're going to send out an application to talk to one of our team members. In that application, make a note that you want to learn more about a Roth. You want to learn more about real estate. Whatever I talked about, put it in the application. It's a one-on-one -on -one private free consultation conversation with our team. And let's talk about that big thing called your Roth. So inside of a Roth, your money grows tax-free, tax-deferred. 
So if, for example, I was going to get to my favorite. I use my Roth for digital currency. So I bought Bitcoin at when it was at four. Yep, I missed the lower marks. But then when I went up to 64, I sold some off about 20%, took the profits, it dropped back down, I went back in. So all of that movement of trading and movement inside of the growth is tax-free, tax deferred. My 15-year-old has it, my 22-year-old has it, I have it. And then as you start getting larger amounts in your Roth, you can actually take some of that, you can go buy some real estate. So now you have all the growth of that real estate inside a Roth. I have a marijuana project, which is land and equipment, right? That's gonna be rental equipment and rental and leases back into the Roth. You can grow your Roth hugely, millions and millions of dollars, if you do it right and you put the right investments inside of it, tax-free, tax-deferred. If you don't know how to do it, make sure you contact our office. We'll show you how to do it. But I am so, I'm going to say aggressive about this and passionate about it. When your kid's born, they should work for your company, get a W-2, and with a W-2, you get them real Roth. If all you did from zero to 20 is put $500 a month away, which is 6000 a year, which is the max you can put away into a Roth, and you just max that and invested it well, just that one move would make your kid a millionaire by 20 years old. That's all you have to do, 500 bucks a month. You say, oh, I don't make about $500 a month. Go make it. Search my bar. We've got lots of ways for you to make money. So let's be back here tomorrow. Take some action today and make some decisions on where you are going to put your money so your money can make more money. Talk to you tomorrow.